Not a galaxy far, far away, but a glimpse into the future as Japan achieves a naval first by not only firing a ship-mounted electromagnetic railgun, but actually hitting a target ship. This is the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force test ship Asuka, and these images, released by the Japanese Defense Ministry, show the test weapon and the target struck. It took place in the Pacific Ocean, about 300 kilometers south of Tokyo. So what's so special about electromagnetic railgun technology? The weapon can fire a projectile at speeds of almost seven times the speed of sound, making interception by an adversary extremely difficult. Those speeds, combined with specially designed shells, gives highly effective penetrative power. And increased range and power means increased standoff capability, keeping the ship carrying it safer and making it more lethal. It's also claimed an electromagnetic gun can significantly increase muzzle velocity compared with a conventional gunpowder version. So why is developing an operational version taking so long? Well, one reason is the huge amount of electrical power needed. Military prototypes like the US version seen here being tested in 2017 needed tens of megawatts for a single shot, thus the output of a small power plant. Fitting that on a ship is tricky, and that's why research into making power supplies smaller and making the weapon do more for less power is ongoing. It's tech that the United States tried to perfect, abandoning its program in 2021, after a decade of research costing $500 million. With Japan facing a series of threats, from China's new military assertiveness to North Korea's closer relationship with Russia and the sharing of nuclear and missile technologies, it's no surprise it's taken up the challenge to build an operational, cutting-edge next-generation weapon and get it operational in an increasingly dangerous world. Japan is sharing its technology with France and Germany. If it succeeds where the US feared to continue to tread, it could gain a major advantage over any naval adversary. Stuart Rumble, BFBS Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.